I think I am recording. Oop, there we go. So I need to resume share. Here we are. Hello. You do not see my face today because I went running in the trees with my dog and my hair is terrible. So no video for me. Well, of me. You just have me talking to you. <laughs> Let's look at what we have planned for December 1st. We are already in December. Wow. Okay. Our first thing is our Zoom link. We have our Zoom meeting at 9 a.m. If you can come, great. If you have any questions, that's the place to come and ask. If for some reason you cannot come to Zoom today, it is okay. Assessments are on Thursday. Tuesday and Wednesday Zoom meetings are for questions, some practice, and staying connected. I like seeing your face. <laughs> okay, first there's our wellness check and please leave a comment. Our daily question is, do you have siblings? What is your birth order? Birth order is who was born first. Are you the oldest or eldest in your family? Those are the same thing. The eldest child and oldest child are the same. Are you a middle child? Are you the youngest or the baby of the family? Please leave a comment. Remember for link hours, you need to post a comment for every, I guess, post that's there and send homework in messages if it is asked for. So some things go in messages, but everything needs a comment. For grammar, we have been learning about the types of sentences, simple, compound, and complex. Today, we will look at some of the coordinating conjunctions. Those are big words, but really, they just mean connecting words. Coordinating conjunctions are connecting words for compound sentences. There are two videos to watch. The first one gives excellent information and the second one is more for fun. When I was a kid, Schoolhouse Rock videos used to be shown between Saturday morning cartoons instead of commercials. To this day, if I hear the word conjunction, my mind automatically starts singing the song. If the song gets stuck in your head, my apologies. Not really, I'm kidding. After you have watched the videos, please do the worksheet and send a photo of your work in Edmodo messages. Of course, please leave a comment. Maybe the, vid maybe the second video gets stuck in your head. Maybe. You just want to show it to your children and get the song stuck in their head. If you get some, a song or part of a song stuck in your head, it is called an earworm. There, that is an idiom for you today. <laughs> okay, here are the answers to yesterday's parent-teacher interview questions. Please compare these with the answers you wrote yesterday. How did you do? Please post a comment when you are finished. 
So parent-teacher conferences are a great opportunity to work with your child's teacher and be a team with the best interests of your child in mind. This link has good information and possible questions to help you get the most benefit from parent-teacher conferences. The questions are also useful for your listening and speaking assessments later this week. Oh, I'll leave a comment. I should write that. For this one, please send your answers in Edmodo messages as part of today's English practice. Just like yesterday, tomorrow morning, the answers will be posted for you in Edmodo and please compare your answers. So this is similar to the work you did yesterday, where you click on the link, then answer the questions. Hmm, I wonder why I would have two of them so similar. Hmm, it's almost like I was setting you up to know how to do it for the assessment, maybe. So at the end I have, I, today I will try to put you into groups in a breakout room. I have not done this before, so please bear with me. Bear with me means be patient with me. If you don't believe me, here's a link to explain it. <laughs> so the breakout room activity, one person is the recorder one person is the speaker. Probably be in groups of two. We'll see how many people come to Zoom. The speaker will share the, both share ideas. The speaker will share the list with the class in Zoom. The recorder will post their group's answers in the comments below. So the recorder needs to write it down in some way that they can post the answers in the comments. If that works, <laughs> and I hope it does, then we will do it again with this in mind. We will do a parent-teacher conference role play. You've been looking at questions and answers between parents and teachers. So this is a good opportunity to practice those conversations with another student need to have a meet or greet. The teacher says what the child is doing well or areas for improvement, maybe concerns. The parent adds information in the conversation. The parent asks questions and then there's a polite end of conference. So this is the do's and don'ts for the first breakout activity. Then we will do the conference, if the breakout room thing works. I hope so. And that, my friends, is it for December 1st. See you later.